All right, so we have an outlet, GFCI outlet, that doesn't work and it can't, we cannot be reset it. So here are the steps, what you should do step by step to get it fixed or to find out what's wrong with the outlet itself. You guys can see red light is blinking. That means you have a power most likely and your breaker is not tripped. So first thing would be to check if the breaker is still on. If the breaker is still on and you have this blinking light, well, first thing is to try to reset this outlet. So, and when I try to reset this outlet, it would not reset, okay? So this is the, if you can see, I'm trying to press the top reset button as hard as I can, but it doesn't click. That means I'm not able to reset it. And when I plug in the plug tester, well, it doesn't show anything, there's no power. I mean, it's not working. Whether you have a blinking light on, on a GFCI or not, the next step would be to use power tester like this. The only way you're gonna test if you have a power or not would be to remove the plate. Just go turn off your breaker, remove the plate, and then what you're gonna do is remove the outlet but you're not gonna remove the wiring. You're gonna keep the wiring on, remove the outlet just like this, and then go turn back on the circuit. And then with your power tester, you can see, you can test if you have a power on a hot terminal right here, okay? That means you do have a power, your GFCI is not working. Second thing to do if you have a voltage tester is to measure the voltage between these two terminals, between neutral and the hot, and see if you're getting 110, 120. Uh, if the voltage is not below 100, that means nothing wrong with the circuit, you have a power, you just have to replace the GFCI. This GFCI was not working when I went to, uh, literally a couple days ago to, uh, troubleshoot an issue and as you can see from this outlet um, I picked it up so this was installed outside you can see WR I believe it's 20 amp so it was outdoor and water got in there and it basically stopped working you have a power here at the in the box in the junction box that means you have to replace most likely the outlet itself another thing of course you might want to check the connections if the wiring is not loose okay um, maybe do um, when circuit is off maybe do a little bit of a pull test if, if make sure nothing is loose and tighten it and then try to reset it after turning on the circuit but even even if then it doesn't reset that means this outlet is bad and it needs to be replaced so 